Hello, YouTube friends. Well, I thought I would share with you how this beautiful Coach Lori bag has been holding up. I've had her for seven months, but I bought her pre-owned. So if you want to see how she's holding up, keep watching. Okay, so this was my bag of the week. She's one of those bags that I have used a lot. And, um, yeah, I know you're probably saying, no, I saw you just had a video saying your bag of, a, of the week was a different bag. All my videos are pre-recorded, so trust me, <laughs> I've been using this one this week. But this one is just like, I don't know, she's a big bag, but she doesn't feel like a big bag on. She just fits so nicely. And so this is the Coach Lori. This is the newest iteration of the style they've had forever. They had the Edie. They had something else before that. I had a uh, Hallie, I think it was, which was the outlet version. It didn't The prior versions didn't have adjustable straps. And that's a new change they made. And I think it's wonderful. The Hallie was horrible. The straps kept slipping off my shoulder. This one stays on somehow. So I end up wearing this bag quite a bit. And for me and all my bags, I've probably got enough bags so I could go two months without duplicating a wear. But I, I wear this one at least once or twice a month because it's just so comfortable. Now the color is the, I think it was called Soft Chambray. I think so. And um, it's just, excuse the sounds in the background. I live across the street from my elementary school. It's the last day of school, so they're having all these announcements and stuff. But I've paired her with this tassel bag charm. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know this is my second purchase of this. I used to carry it on my um, ochre color Coach Molly that I had given away in a giveaway. But when I wore it on her, it fell off somewhere when I was out shopping, and so I repurchased it. But I think it looks really cute on this because it does have that little blue accent, even though it's not perfect match. It's close enough. Now this color is, I love, I, oh, is it wash chambray? I think it's wash chambray. Sorry, wash chambray. I have this in my soft tabby as well. I am in love with this color. It almost has, in certain lights, like at work in fluorescent lighting, it almost pulls a little bit. It has like a drop of lavender in it. It's weird. It's not... A green blue at all it's really kind of almost leaning towards periwinkle so I think it's just beautiful and it looks perfect with denim <clears throat> but I want to show you how this is wearing and what I packed inside of it now this has the what is it called the nickel hardware is it the dark nickel gunmetal maybe this is gunmetal but it is wearing well. I've never polished the metal on this. When I got this bag, I bought it pre-loved from somebody in a coach group on Facebook. And I'll link the video to it somewhere around here. But it was a tremendous deal. It came filled with a wristlet and a medium wallet in the cherries print and a card case in the cherries print. And I think it was all for $160. So I could not pass that up. I'm not, I know they still sell these. These are still a very big seller at the Coach Retail site, and I know that they're probably around $400, so that was an excellent deal. Uh, I have a little dirty smudge on it here because when I get to work, I just throw it in my drawer, but it's very well made. You've got this, I call it the Muppet Mouth Zipper because I hate these zippers that Coach puts on it. I don't know why they need this overhang, but usually it really gets in the way of the zipper working. And for some reason on this bag, it does not. It's very smooth. So keep that in mind. If you see the Muppet Mouth zipper and you hate them as much as I do on this bag, it's great. Let's see, the feet still looking good. They probably have a little bit of wear, but I'm not really seeing much other than a couple smudges. But it's beautiful. I think this was the polished pebble leather because it's kind of got a sheen to it. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Very, very soft. The only flaw I found on it, where was it? Somewhere on one of the handles, it had a little thread hanging out. Oh, here. Whoops. Right here, if you can. Oh, come on, focus. 
I don't know why this isn't focusing, but anyhow, it uh, had a little kind of a, not a pop stitch, but kind of like a little thread hanging out. So I just kind of burnt it off with a little lighter. And when you do that, it seals the thread so it doesn't unravel, which I love. I've done it on so many bags. And if you are very, very careful not to touch the actual <laughs> bag itself, it works. So anyhow, I have these adjusted, these straps adjusted at the middle point, which is perfect for me. And let's see how I have it packed. It's got two nice magnets. I love the way they stick. They stick very well, but they're not too hard. Two magnetic closures on either side, and it's lined with microfiber. Now these solid color ones, not the ones with the suede on the sides, I think they are all microfiber, and I see a lot of people reviewing this bag saying, oh, it's leather or suede. It's not. It's microfiber. But that makes it easy to clean. But look how much room you have. So in the front, I keep this in this bag as my little carry-all pouch because it's the perfect match. This is the wristlet that came with it that's missing the wristlet strap, but it's still a wristlet, and it's the retail version, and it's bigger than the corners it. I've got tons of stuff in here. I've got some setting spray, Imodium. Oh, I've got some earrings that I took off at work because they were heavy. <laughs> they were bothering me. Kept that in the pocket. And I have the ring that was bothering me at work. What fun, everything's bothering me at work. <laughs> but powder, I got everything. And of course I have my beloved orangey if you've been here for a while you know i have been carrying this with me every day since the second grade i don't know why he's my good luck charm i keep him and i'm afraid to take him out and what would happen so <laughs> i always have him in my carry-all i got that i have tissues in the back here i have my little handmade agenda from my victoria's secret passport cover i think that the color is so nice with this and this is just such a cute little agenda to have and I just kind of made it myself by putting these little books inside with a band and they just kind of sit in there so got that in the back I also have my sunglasses from peepers you can find these in grocery stores and they're actually really nice aren't those cute they also have um Oh, like little bifocals and stuff. And I have my keys. And then in the middle section here, where you want everything to be more secure, this is exactly what I have packed in it. Why is the focus going? There we go. I have my vitamins, my seeing glasses. I have this new pouch. This is from, um, Daisy Rose, and you can find them now at Walmart. I know they used to sell the look-alike Louis Vuitton things on um, Amazon, and then they went away, and now they're on Walmart, and they still have the checkered print, like Louis Vuitton looking things, but they came out with this new print on, it's just PVC. I thought that was really cute, kind of like a quilted herringbone, and silver hardware, and then the key thing just kind of flips like that. But they're a little bit bigger than the key clay size. So I've got any um, bacterial, um, just the gel, and hand sanitizer, and a mask in case it's ever needed. I have that in there. But yeah, these hold a lot, and they're really cute. And I think it was like $9.99. And then as my wallet, I have this by Coach, this little card case in the oranges print canvas. I used to use this a ton when I got it a couple years ago, and now I don't like them. They're too tiny. <laughs> I find that I just, I really have to cram things in, especially if you're carrying cash. So I don't know. I, I don't love it as much as I used to, but it's a fun, fresh print for summer. So it is still cute. And then you've got fabric lining with the Coach logo all over it, and you've got a snap case here and I or pocket and I just have my gum in there so it's a nice leather lined snap pocket just like you find on the uh, ropes Oops. but yeah that is all there is to this bag look how clean it is she is spotless still 
I don't know how, but she is still spotless. I'm pretty careful with my bags, but it was nice to buy it from, and I like these leather, um, that has a leather um, ended zipper pulls on it, two of them, which makes it easy to get in and out of. But anyhow, the person that I bought it from, I am very, very glad that they were also very careful with their bags because when you buy from bag groups, usually that's the case. We all love our bags and want them to, to last a long time. So that is the wear and tear on this bag. Absolutely none. <laughs> I mean, I see a couple of spots that I need to wipe clean. But as far as like the corners, there's no wear. And I am not precious with this bag. I throw it around, throw it into my drawers. I don't usually set it on the ground if we're in the restaurant. I'll put it in the chair next to me. But yeah, so it is holding up very, very well. I'm very pleased with it. So I highly recommend the Lori. If you um, have had trouble with this type of bag in the past where they didn't have the adjustable shoulder straps, Try it now. I think you will really find the sweet spot for it to stay on your shoulders. And this one has never given me any problems at all. I absolutely love it. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.